At Focus on Liberia, we discuss everything Liberia, from education to politics, arts and culture, entertainment, agriculture, history, religion, family, and technology. Focus on Liberia uncovers and showcases the best of Liberia and shows the world the truth about Liberia. We educate, elevate, and promote all things Liberia. We conduct interviews, panel discussions, debates, and more. Tune in to Focus on Liberia on Facebook and YouTube and be a part of the stories that make up the news. This is Focus on Liberia and I am Dennis Jack. <laughs> hey Dennis, um, welcome everybody to another edition of Focus on Liberia Literary Hour and as always my host my co-host is Dr. Kim Moses Nangbeha, Prof. Yes, uh, Miss Sai, how are you? Did you miss me last week? Oh, it's only the, <laughs> uh, it's only the, uh, the audience that will tell because <laughs> I was thinking your name, so. Uh, Prof, I'm so sorry for leaving you to hold the ball, uh, uh, but yeah. I, I watched you and, I mean, you are the master, so you did extremely well. Thank you so much for keeping the fort. Yeah. So today is a very nice day. It's almost 80 degrees here. Everybody's outside except me. Um, I'm here with my professor. We're going to discuss um, leadership in selected literary texts. Uh, we thought that um, this is election season in Liberia, and we want to um, go through some text to see leadership qualities and also to see the criteria that people use to um, select their leaders and why it's, why it's important to do so. So um, we're going to have maybe four, four or five books and we're going to discuss them very briefly. And we ask you to chime in as always. Don't be silent. If you agree or disagree, please chime in and uh, we'll take it from there. So Prof, we're going to start with First, first, do you have other comments to add before we begin? Well, yeah, um, the whole thing is that we here we are celebrating the power of literature to provide a wide, a wide uh, field of uh, alternatives. Uh, to the whole concept of leadership, what is required, and sometimes literature paints a variety of uh, case studies. And through the case studies, we draw inspiration about a variety of scenarios in which uh, decision-making becomes very much important. So it is in that uh, context that we are having the session for today. So like you said, we hope that uh, people in, in TV land will be listening and doing their own jottings to be able to 
uh, contribute to our conversation. And and um, we always, I mean, I mean, I always say, oh, we're not getting into politics and things like that. And David and Prof, uh, 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 and Prof Nang, we always say, you know, literature is political. Yeah, yeah, it's a human life. It's just what it is. Yeah. So so uh, um, we we are heading to a critical juncture in Liberia. We have election in October. We have a lot of um, people vying to be president. And as I always say, I'm not looking for, for a husband or a spouse or an admirer. I'm looking for a competent leader. You know, so usually people will say, oh, I don't like this leader or that leader. I don't know this leader or that leader. You don't have to like that leader if that leader is best for the country. You know, if you look in, inwardly and say, my life is not better, then maybe it's time for a change. If you look inwardly and say, no, my life is the best it's ever been, then vote for the person who has made your life better, you know? But I always say that Liberia comes first. So when you're voting, always say, who will move Liberia into the, the, the next sphere where, of greatness? So think about that. And that's what we're gonna to discuss today as we go through all of these uh, uh, um, characters, I guess. And Prof, I'm so I'm so sad to say that of all the times I didn't put, I'm sure you will with your vast uh, uh, knowledge that I did not find a female character actually late in my bed, but <laughs> mm -hmm. but I did not find a female character. But we can we can start. So we start with um, our little. This is a leadership in selected literary text. So Prof, I I have uh, first Moby Dick, right? Mm -hmm. So, so do you want to say a little bit about Moby Dick before we begin? No, let's take it over. Like, like you have it over there. Let's let's go with it. Uh, we we know that the story of Moby Dick, uh, the Herman Melville uh, production, is that of determination is that of understanding the problem, the challenge that you have and being able to go at it with the feistiness that God has given you. Uh, it is important to keep that in mind because moving eyes of the ball is not an exemplary character of a leader. And as you have over there, which I'm sure at some point you were going to read, is that of focus. Now, the whole point of determination, if we go back to uh, one of the articles that you uh, were gracious to send out, determination with our reflection is also not good. Determination with our reflection, focus with our reflection is not good. So if we are going to talk about a characteristic of leadership which has to do with determination, we also have to make sure that we uh, insert the need for uh, very serious reflection in what we are doing so that the whole process, the whole set of challenges are kind of studied so that we try as much as possible to bring out that result that has the capacity to benefit a greater number of people that we serve. Yeah, and and also because um, uh, if you look at if you look at Moby Dick, uh, I mean I mean told from the one of the sailors Ishmael point of view about Captain Ahab, so Captain Ahab his leg was was eaten by a great white shark, mm -hmm. and so he's determined to kill this shark. He spent his yeah. entire life yeah. <laughs> trying to 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 go to this shark. So so. I agree with you, a leader should have uh, uh, um, determination 
and persistence, but to to, to a good cause, not yeah. you know, not to oh um for revenge or anything yeah. because mm -hmm. because because That's although, you have to be reflective, yes. Yeah. So 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 um, determination towards a common good. So it is it is not revenge against someone who has wronged him, yeah. like I mean not someone is a is a whale in yeah. in in Moby Dick, but 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 Ahab his entire life now was caught up in trying to kill Moby Dick, <laughs> to, to kill the white whale. Yeah. Okay. So so if we look at if we look at Moby Dick, um, we see that the, the whale has uh, it has two eyes. It sees opposing sides. Yeah. So that's a good attribute of a leader that a leader can see both sides right yeah and, and then something that's very important which is was in the book is that opportunity comes sometimes from crises yeah because like there's a perfume that's in the whale mm -hmm. but that perfume can only be taken out when the whale is rotten is dead and rotten yeah. so sometimes bad things bring out good opportunities yeah. you know and 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 then for for them i just had this uh, quote, human madness is oftentimes a cunning and most feline thing. When you think it fled, it may have but become transfigured mm -hmm. into some still subtler form, yeah. which is true because uh, Captain Ahab is crazy. He is mad, yeah. you know, and his madness has taken on another form, yeah. right? So so what, what are some of the attributes that we can see in, 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 in Moby Dick? You know, whether it's whether it's Ishmael, whether it's Captain Ahab, yeah. even whether it is the will that we think we are looking for in leaders. Yeah. Of, yeah. It's 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 it's, uh, it's very much important. You have to be perspicacious. In other words, you have to be someone looking at all sides. You, see? you have to be again, that's that's what I mentioned about reflection. You have to be someone looking at all sides. And as we are saying, that if leadership is supposed to be for the good of the greatest number of people, then the reflection has to lead to <clears throat> the positive construction of the direction that people are taking. But if it is going to be towards the negative, then definitely it is getting to be a tyrant. So if you are tyrannical, then you have no place of being the leader of a people. So that should uh, capture the imagination of people who want to lead or those who are already leaders. Determination, yes. Focus, yes. But at what cost? At what cost? That is very much important. And, and even if, if you look at in a way, even more, even the whale <laughs> has some leadership qualities yeah. because the whale just goes on its merry way. Yeah. I mean, ultimately, at the end, we know what happened, right? It destroys the pickle, and, and 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 of course, but but it goes on its merry way, right? In its in its in it is in its element. Yeah. You know, so 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 oftentimes a leader needs to be able to evaluate the risk evaluation is very much important yes risk, evaluate risk the analysis risk, risk analysis yeah. is very much important yeah because because although a uh, captain ahab starts by saying okay he's going to get moby dick he he gradually descends into madness as he yeah. says you know yeah. when you think it fled it may have become transfigured into yeah. some still subtler yeah. form mm -hmm. which told him, i mean that's what happened to him yeah. so a, a leader should see the opportunity even sometimes in crises yeah. and a leader should not lose focus yeah on what they're doing a leader should be determined mm -hmm. but determined for the common good yes not determined for revenge as in the case of of, of captain ahab yeah 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 and and it's interesting you know that you can find so many so many elements of leadership mm -hmm. in 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 moby dick and moby dick was written by herman melvin in 1851. Yeah. Yeah. i thought it was it was it was interesting to put that on yeah yeah so then we come to our own friend uh chinua achibe 1958 yeah. things fall yeah. apart mm -hmm. and we say that sometimes the leader accidents are opportunities or crises mm -hmm. it depends on what you think and then, and then adhering blindly to rigid moral codes 
you have to embrace some complex code. So let's yeah. look at the leader. Let's look at Akunko, Okonko. Yeah. You know, uh, again, in the context of Okonko, we see that a battle is enjoined when a new culture uh, rises on the horizon. Uh, we see in Okonkwo the manifestations of tradition and to have a force coming to dominate or even eviscerate the one culture that one has held has a, pot a potential of creating a deadly challenge. Uh, it is very much important again for one to be reflective. Every time the whole idea of leadership, what it produces is someone who has the capacity to see a problem not only to see the problem, but to see the multifaceted ways in which that problem can be dealt with. You cannot be the leader or you should not be a leader who's, who will see the dealing with a problem in a, a monolithic type of approach. If you are like that, then definitely you can easily get crushed. And that is what we see in the instance of uh, our own man, uh, Okonkwo. It, it's important to, to also recognize the fact that um, a lot of the text they talk about, um, they write about leaders who, I mean, how to become a leader. Yeah. In Okonkwo's case, if you look at it, it's about a leader who, because of, of his rigidity, loses his leadership. Yes. Yeah. So, 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 um, we say that sometimes there can be what, what, what is it that we say? Accidents are opportunities or crises. Yes. Yeah. When he accidentally breaks the 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 the, 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 the peace festival, yeah. he runs to his to his to his to his mother's town. So that was an accident, but there was a crisis. But also, it can be said that he got closer to his mother's side when mm. he was there. Mm. But then there come, comes the, the point of rigid, the rigidity of maintaining tradition yeah. that you cannot embrace change. It is tradition that says that the little boy must, Ikimi Funa must be killed. Yeah. It is tradition. So, so, so tradition says here is what should be done. But as his friend uh, Izuelu tells him, you don't have to be the one mm -hmm. to uphold the tradition if the tradition goes against your morality. Even, even Ome Ogwefi Izuelu, Ome Ogwefi Izuelu, who brings the news yes. that it is time for Ikeme Funa yes. to be sacrificed. Yes. He, he makes a point that, you know, this guy, Ikeme Funa calls you father. Yes. So those those are subtle, those are subtle pieces of advice uh, that you send signal to Okonkwo that, hey, you know, there is time for everything, uh, changes are evolving and circumstances that create an understanding of these changes must not be ignored. And if uh, such uh, circumstances are ignored, then of course uh, that uh, indifference might be one's undoing. Yeah. And for those of you who don't know the instance in things fall apart, um, when 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 there's a there was a war, one of the young boys from a neighboring village mm -hmm. was sent 
to Okonko's village to live there. Yeah. And that little boy lived with Okonko and became like a son to him. Yeah. And then after many years, the priest came to Okonko to mm -hmm. say to Okonko, the little boy must be killed. Mm -hmm. But the priest warned Okonko or said to him, you don't have to be the one yeah. to do it. But Okonko, because of his upbringing, he didn't like people to think that he was weak. Yeah, background is important. Background, background, is important. Yeah, background is important. Yeah. So that in psychology, uh, if you must understand the action an individual takes, it doesn't hurt to understand the background. It is not to accept totally what that person has done, but to fully understand or significantly understand uh, the, the path that individual has traveled to commit a particular act. Uh, maybe that individual may not be saved. Other individuals, potential individuals, may be saved by policies and programs that may be put in place so that we don't have a second or third person like that. So that yeah. is in the case of uh, Okonkwo, knowing very well that he came from a background where the father was improvident. Yes, yes. Where the father was lazy. And therefore, he, Okonkwo, would never allow uh, people to see him as a replica of his father. Therefore, he had to do things, at least that's what he thought, to do things differently. And it is that wanting to do things differently that led him to participate in the sacrificing of uh, little Ikemefuna. And, and leadership is important also, but so is being humble because yeah. because because Okonko had had um, achieved so much. Yeah. That, I mean, in the in in things for the part, there's an instance where they go to a meeting. Yeah. And <laughs> and this this other guy who's actually poor, he doesn't own anything. He comes to the meeting and they say to him, "This meeting is for men." Yeah. Yeah. You know, emasculating the guy that you yeah. have nothing, you yeah. know, and, and a leader mm -hmm. should not do that. Should not trash people like that. Yes, should know. not do that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You, 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 you have, you know, empathy is very much important. Sympathy yeah. is also very much important. Those are mitigating factors that will kind of uh, restrain you from becoming uh, overly arrogant a yes. leader is not haughty is not arrogant a yes. leader must be able again we will talk about this whole idea of uh, reflectiveness a leader must be very much careful in how he or she handles uh, the citizens that are being worked with Yeah, and 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 uh, um, and and uh, Okonko, because people knew of his past, mm -hmm. where his family was poor, mm -hmm. and his father was a ne'er do well. Mm -hmm. He 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 did even more. Yeah. To overcompensate. Yeah. You know, and like you say, a uh, uh, background and upbringing is important. Mm -hmm. But in leadership, you must be able to embrace all. Yeah. You know, there must be inclusivity. But but yeah. but he he only. Um, included those who had achieved. Yeah, you know he was not the kind of person who suffered fools gladly, yeah. and that's not a mark of a good leader. Yeah, yeah. And he did not take counsel. Yeah, yeah, he did not take counsel. You know, and that's another thing. A mm -hmm. good leader must be able to take advice from yeah. people, and he was not able to do so. And selfless, yeah, which brings in the element of selflessness. Yeah, selflessness. Um, Carl Rogers, one of the noted psychologists as far as uh, dealing with mutual respectability is concerned, uh, he pointed out that when people come to a table, an issue comes up and people are at a table. Each individual who comes to the table has a background on certain set of concerns 
that must be respected. That is why he he uh, proposes a, a kind of argumentative model that talks about um, respecting common ground. We look at what each individual who arrives at that table has, and we must study each of those things and see whether we can come to a common ground, which then will move the problem to a point of solution rather than uh, needless bickering and all such things. So a leader has to be selfless because selflessness is a very important construct in advancing uh, productive leadership. And um, while, while you, you were speaking, I started to think about Isuelu in Arrow of God. Mm -hmm. That's also as a leader, mm -hmm. as a priest of his town, he mm -hmm. also display hurt pride, hurt yes. anger. Yes. That he will he will allow his town to starve to death. Yeah. Yeah. Rather than bless the yams. So so that's an interesting one as well. Yeah. yeah. That's important. Yeah. So, so so as we say, the leader must look at the common good. Sometimes yeah. even at at his own expense, he yes. must look at yes. the common good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I, I I always see like I did in my you know my my recent yeah. book. Uh, beyond buffoonery. The point is that there is some divinity to leadership. Yes. There is some divine shadowing of a leader. So that if you want to be idiosyncratic, then you have you have problems on your hands. You will always want to look to the energy of the divine that is shadowing you so that you end up doing that which is good. This brings in uh, the, the, of course, it was not only the Chinese uh, that uh, made this point, but maybe uh, over time it is uh, attributed to the, the Chinese who believe that when a leader, when someone becomes a leader, that person in the sense becomes the approved one of the gods. But to the extent that that leader is not performing well, then that leader has shamed the gods. Therefore, the extent to which that leader has shamed the gods it is important for that leader to be removed. It is important for that leader to be removed because he or she has defiled, he or she has disappointed the gods that in a sense enthroned him or her. Yeah, I, I don't, I mean, I agree with you that there's some leadership has some elements of divinity. Yeah. I, I kind of, hesitate to say that mm -hmm. a leader is chosen by God. Well, when, when, the, when you say that, then people say, oh, they've gone and choose the man. The man no, 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 no. Uh, yes, I'm glad that you, you are bringing that part up. I'm glad that you are bringing that part up. But, uh, you know, you know very well that uh, there is a common Latin phrase, which is vox populi, vox dei. It is from that point of vox populi, vox dei, which is the voice of the people is the voice of God. It is not absolute. Anyone who thinks that it is absolute has a mental problem. So the extent to which the voice of the people uh, would raise you is even also the extent to which they can vote you down if you are not what? If you are not uh, working to merit uh, the enthusiasm, the excitement of being out there. So yes, it's, 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 it's more like uh, you've got to be 
very tactical in believing in what is said about vox populi, vox dei. So I agree with you. Yeah, because because I I mean for, for people to say, oh God, put him there, God will no, move him. No, 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 you 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 vote and you're the one who can decide if the person yeah. stays or goes. Yeah. 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 So so the next the next book, I mean we're doing these things very briefly, but the next book is Julius Caesar. Mm. And then I have two quotes from him. The first one is it is not these well fed, long haired men that I fear. But the pale and the hungry looking. Remember when he said, "Beware of Cassius." Yeah, that's yeah. lean and hungry look. Yeah. And then he also said, "Men in general are quick to believe that which they wish to be true." Yeah. Which is very, very true. So, it's, so, 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 so let let's talk about Julius Caesar as a leader. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's Shakespeare, because yeah, the, that's what the, I know. Uh, Julius Caesar, like many other leaders was a complex uh, personality. At one point, he seemed arrogant. At another point, he seemed ambitious. But Mark Antony put a lot of things into perspective. Uh, before he made uh, some of his memorable uh, statements, he said that, well, the people said that he was ambitious. But a couple of times he was presented the crown and he said what? He refused. He refused. Yes, he refused to take the crown. And Julius Caesar, you know, probably selfish and what have you to say, but he left a will. <laughs> and then the people will shout, read the will, read the will. <laughs> That's one of those important things, you know. And he said, well, this is a man who had the the uh, who had the interest of the people at heart, and that is what he set off in he set off in his will. But yet again, he was a determined fellow in terms of the battles that he took his troops to, and they were able to win. Yeah, and 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 Julius Caesar. I mean, when he says that men, they, 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 I, I mean, I I like that quote when he says, you know, men in general are quick to believe that which they wish to be true. Yeah, and not that which is true, but which uh -huh. what they wish to be true. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, but mm -hmm. I I also think that um, as a leader, some of the qualities that he has, he was very. Um, I wouldn't say stoic. I would say he he was very fearless mm -hmm. and he was and and another quality he had was that he he was fearless and he was also uh fatalistic okay you know i mean that's not a good quality i know but but because when he when when when, when caponia tells him you know that look you know i i, I had this dream you know yeah. that 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 uh 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 the ghosts were shrieking and things were happening. He says, you know, he says, he says, what can be, what can, what, what can be avoided? Whose end is, is, yeah. is proposed by the mighty gods, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. uh, I, say, I will go forth. And when they say, no, 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 don't go. Something will happen to you. You know, he says, he says, cowards die many times before mm -hmm. their death. Yeah, yeah. The alien never mm -hmm. tastes of death but once. I, of all the wonders that I have yet heard, yeah. right? It seems to me most strange that men should fear death, yeah. seeing that death, a necessary end will come when it will come. So he was now, very brave, Prof. Now, now this is this is this is where this is where the importance of literature comes into the picture. Uh, we said earlier on that literature provides a multiplicity of outlets for us to understand human nature. Yes. For us to understand things that are happening in the world of you. Now, the downside of, uh, of that courage, if we will call it that, is not sitting. Did he, we might ask the question, did he not ever sit down to reflect on whether or not people loved him, people respected him to the point of not having uh, 
dark spot that others will easily what exploit even someone as close as brutus did he not think that way but prof so, you yourself um so, i bring so, you back to antigone uh, right when 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 antigone's fiance was begging uh, his father yeah he said i've been in the market square i know what they say behind your back uh -huh. right Please believe me when I tell you they do not love you. Uh -huh. Right? Yeah. So, so, so the same thing with with, with Julius Caesar because yes, they it, it, not... I, I guess the shock for him was so great that when he said a two brute, yeah, yeah, yeah. Caesar, you know, yeah. yeah. So, so, so again, uh, what we find in uh, Antigone, as you uh, rightly said, is something if a modern leader sees challenges and what have you uh that should a uh, kind of speed the reckoning i am reminded of lifted up by victoria talbert uh the late the late uh Talbot's wife william Talbot's wife and it becomes even germane to what we are saying about the perspicacity of uh, of leaders. Uh, many times, Victoria uh, whispered to the husband, these people who you think like you don't like you. Richard, uh, can't you think, you know, can't you sit down and do a long set of reflection? So then, when uh, Plato, in talking about the importance of literature over history, we must not lose, we must not lose sight of that uh, point. That come what may, it is very much important for us to build a kind of team around us as leaders team a team whose leaders must always look at a multiplicity of of uh, angles from which a specific problem can be discussed so in the case of julius caesar as uh, brought in here yes his wife did tell him about the dream but the confidence the confidence unrestrained confidence overtook him that he would not buy into the idea of a woman's fear and you don't want to be caught in that as a leader okay let's look at the other the other ones let's look at animal farm so we have <laughs> Authoritarian leadership, greed, yeah, power really. can be corruptible, and fear. Yeah. Right. So, 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 Animal Farm was written in 1945 by George Orwell. Yeah. So let's talk about about Animal Farm. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, Prof, uh -huh. one of the one of the one of the sentences in that book that is quite overlooked, and you and I discussed Animal Farm months ago, that they had come together and they knew that they were going to fight, right? Mm. But they said the revolution came suddenly mm. and they were not prepared. Mm. I always remember that line, mm. that they had been planning mm -hmm. that, okay, when we take over, I mean, we will take over one day. We're mm. going to overthrow all these people in power. Mm. But all of a sudden, the cows weren't milked and this mm. and this. And the revolution came suddenly and mm. they were not prepared. They, when I think about that line, I always think about individuals in expectation of money. Individuals in expectation of money. When, and it may, you might have one or two exceptions, but most people, when they are expecting money, they have all these plans laid out. Yes. But no sooner had the money come in, then 
so many diverse and unplanned for things begin to happen. So if you have this thing about the revolution uh, suddenly coming, uh, the question people need to ask is, in your numerous rounds of dialoguing or conversing, what will it have taken for you to write things down? What would you have taken for you to write things down so that you have a basically organized, uh, detailed plan to be able to? It's about uh, planning in a way of creating scenarios. You must be in the business of planning scenarios so that when the revolution comes, it will not be very shocking if there are one or two things you might have to rewrite or reposition fine but to say that you did not plan anything and therefore you are taken unawares then there is a problem yeah and then the last book we, uh, we will discuss before we then we really get down into it and then just discuss it um is is um prof i will not tell you any lie when I read Lord of the Flies, mm. I felt like it was a horror book. Mm. Yeah, this yeah. thing shook me to the core. <laughs> you know, I mean, yeah. the, the, one of the, the one, one of the um, uh, the society must depend yeah. on the ethical nature of the yeah. individual and not on any political system, however yeah. apparently logical or. That is very exciting. Must depend on the ethical nature yeah. of the individual. So it, it, it means that it, even it, go ahead. it can be the best system. Yeah. You as an individual to be ethical. Yeah. To be able to sustain that system. But because but, you had Raf. Yeah. Uh, for those of you who are, maybe we should tell those flies. Uh, these very well respected British boys yeah. are on this island. Yeah. And they decide Suddenly. that, you know what, yeah. we are from Britain, we will maintain yeah. our lifestyle, we will be yeah. like well behaved. And yeah. with Raf as the elected leader, and then Jack as the self appointed yeah. leader, and then PE, yeah. these yeah. boys descend into horrific abuses, yeah. murders, you know, I yeah. mean, depraved uh, yeah. uh, behavior. And so what, what they're saying is that it, no matter how good the system is, the individual yeah. who is a leader must have ethical uh, uh, leadership, not just political systems, you know? But we, so we, 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 scary. yeah, we, we saw this, in, in, we saw this uh, during, during the, uh, towards the end of uh, 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 Donald Trump's reign as, as president of, 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 the United States of America, if you did not have a few good people, a few good people, Trump would have railroaded the system. And today we will be talking about President Trump again. So the, the, the point that the individual has to some extent has to be a seasoned ethical being yes. is very much important. That is why people have been talking, I, I don't know, in a few areas and what have you, but what sustained the system so that Trump did not railroad the system had to be a few ethical people. And so they ought to be the triumph of the purposeful person, the triumph of the ethical person. So when you bring that to, to, to the law of the flies, definitely that particular um, quote that you gave is a powerful quote. Yes. A yes. society 
is made of individuals. But those individuals have got to pay deference to the value system in the society. If they cannot pay deference to that value system, then definitely a lot of things will begin to crumble and fall. Yeah. That is why even talking about, I, I, I want to insert something about uh, the, the Liberian Study Association. They are talking about repositioning. Yes. Uh, repositioning cannot take place if there is a rotten value system. If there is a rotten value system. And in the case of Liberia, one will hope that there is a sturdy value system, that there is a cadre of people who can sustain that society in a constructive and productive way. So a good leader must be able to help support the creation of the cadre of people that are going to sustain the society. And let me let me uh, uh, just paste the 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 Brain Studies Association where uh, uh, conference will be held uh, April twenty seventh. So please join us for that in North Carolina. Okay, Prof. We've discussed all of these books. Let's get down to the real meat. What do you think are the qualities that a leader must have for Liberia? Hmm. Okay. There are multiples. One. No, three. I want three. Oh, three. You're talking about three. Yeah, okay. Multiples, there are three. Uh, the thing about it is that uh, a leader that is needed for Liberia has to be selfless. Selflessness will preclude the zest for opulence, wanting things for yourself so that uh, programs that are created like the Road Project Fund, like the Community Project Fund and what have you, that from, from news we've gotten to know that people are cannibalizing just for their own good and what have you, that have to be removed. A leader has to be focused, focused, bent towards the point of what? Bent towards the point of constructive engagement. If that is absent, then there is a problem. A leader has to be one who brings a core group, not as a way of conspiring, but as a way of being restive in producing ideas that will advance the course of the country. So selflessness, focus, being uh, someone who engages in positive conversation. Those are very much important for such a leader. For me, I think that um, it is important for a leader to be a visionary. Yes. I've been reading Ban Ki-moon's book and, 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 and I, I find that you have one, you is an exceptional, was an exceptional leader. Yeah. You must know, they say, if you don't know which, which harbor you are sailing to, no wind is the right wind. Yeah. You must be able to look at Liberia and see that it can be better. Yeah. And that will help you to try to code where it is going to be. Yeah. I find that sometimes it is good, like you say, you must have a core of people around you. A lot of noise can you must be exact in what it is you want for Liberia to go, where you want it to go, and how to get there. There must be a roadmap, but that roadmap cannot be cannot be written 
when you are president, it must be written before. It must be written before. It can be enhanced when you're president, but it must be written before. So for me, a leader must be visionary. It is absolutely essential mm. that a leader must be strong. There is no if, and, and but about that. Lee Kuan Yew said, I knew where I wanted to take my country, and I was going to take it, take it there. And people might fall on the wayside, but I was going to take them there. So I think a leader has to be strong. A leader must know how to say no. A leader must not just uh, 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 please everybody. No. Uh, 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 um, a leader must be strong. A leader must be visionary. But a leader also must be reflective, hmm. empathetic, and must be a moral person. If you do not have a core of goodness within you, nothing will put it there when you're a leader. You must have a, a, a core of goodness. You must be a moral person, you know? So I think I think that, I think that you must be a moral person. You must be able to empathize with people, you know, but yet you must be able to close the door and say, you know what, I have taken this decision. Because you see, when, when they, they always say that when you get somewhere and you look at people, you, you fire the people that you think should be fired. Because if the more you stay in that position, the more you get close to that person, then it's harder for you to fire that person. Mm -hmm. So I think that a leader has to be strong. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. So so those are my three. I think I'll be a dictator when I, <laughs> if I became well, a president. Yeah, but, no. Uh, you pointed out the, the element of empathy. You pointed out the element of uh, uh, sympathy. At the core, really at the core is uh, you must take people over personal interest. People over personal interest. People meaning that the society uh, that is moving in a direction that is positive must be a goal to search and follow. Uh, do we have uh yeah you have uh comments? what is but can you hear me i'm listening to you no, I said, can you hear me <laughs> no i said in order for people to follow you you must be strong yeah yes yeah. Uh, probably the 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 thing about strength may not be but you must be determined, you know, because people uh, read so many things into the word strong. That's the thing about it. Yeah. If you are determined and follow. So are there comments for us to look at? Yeah, I was going to, I was going to, uh, um, Emmanuel Jackson is watching from Boston. Hi, Emmanuel. Uh, Emmanuel is our faithful. <laughs> yeah, I hope oh, all yeah. is well. Yeah. Um, Edison, how's your cat? Oh, how's your house, Coco? I think Lulu, <laughs> how's Lulu? I Lulu. think, yes. Uh, Edison is following from Ghana. I take so much interest in the symbolism used to describe leadership. Leadership is service to the community for a good cause, yeah, with a force of character, reflection, and focus. Yeah. But senior Prof Nangbe and says, Jackie, do we have such leaders today in Liberia? Well, we'll leave that for one for you to debate. <laughs> he goes this on, I guess Okonko may have had that force of character, yeah. but he lacked reflection. And that yeah. extreme form of unreflective character yeah. le led him to commit suicide. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Hello, Boina, watching from Lansdowne, Pennsylvania. Hi, mm -hmm. how are you? Yeah. Um, Edison goes on. Only dead bodies have stiff neck. <laughs> if Okonko was living in our time, he would keep his car in on gear. Yeah. Uh, compromise and logical reasoning were not part of him. He was a yeah. conservative yeah. at the very extreme right. Yeah. That is why we say the best type of leadership is neither democracy nor autocracy, but situational. Yeah. A type of backbone, flexible but not breakable. <laughs> I like yeah. that. Yeah. Flexible but not breakable. Yeah. Um, in things fall apart, was it Igwefi who said the sun must shine on those who stand before it shines on those yeah, who lie? Yeah, that's it's right. a reference to people he was indebted. That is paying those he owes money before yeah. saying, yeah, yeah, that's true. That's what he said when it came yeah. to him. 
Uh-huh. Yeah, he said, ah, ah, no, 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 no. The sun must shine those who stand before him. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. I can't yeah. see the, the writing. Anyway. Oh, okay. So I go back and uh, if you want to comment on it, he no. said, uh-huh. go yeah. ahead. Yeah. Okay. So he was, um, uh, and then um, we have Edison again says, yeah. Caesar was also stoic, especially when one follows his military expeditions, yeah. his, defense, his capture. In his return to capture friends, then refer to yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, um, and then we have um oh sorry, we have Sam Do- Dopo, very interesting podcast, educational quality. Thank you, Samuel. Yes, uh, um says says Jackie, I'm really enjoying my literature lesson tonight. Reflection and focus mm-hmm. are two key words that remind mm-hmm. me of a story I read. It is called 12 Angry Men. Oh, and it's no, it twelve angry men. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Actually, yeah. you're right about leadership, because yeah. in that he was able to bring people around to his way of thinking. Yeah. And he did that not with so much force as with force. logical reasoning. He provided the evidence. He yes. Provided evidence. Yeah. Provided evidence. Evidence. Evidence is the magic of persuasion. Evidence yes. is the magic of persuasion. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, because um, if you look at the guy who kept saying, I know he's guilty, right? Mm. But that was because of his son. Yes. Uh, yeah, his son had number had, three. Had, yeah. number three. Yeah, number three. Yeah. number three. And Edison, um, um, 12 Angry Men, this, the play is, is on Tubi, if you want to watch it. It's really an excellent play, you know, with Henry Fonda. Yes, yeah, and then um uh this I'm just reading your book, The Road to Romeo. <laughs> it was given to me by one of your former students from the university, prof. That's your road to Romeo. <laughs> the road yeah. to Romeo. Uh, yeah. thank you. But 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 uh, 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 coming back to the, the issue of leadership, you know, we, we talk about the qualities in 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 a leader, what we're looking for in a leader. But I think also that as a people, you know, we must look at the criteria we have as a, you know, people say, Oh, we must be you know, there must be unity. And I you know, I always say you mean thieves are unified, <laughs> they're going to steal. There's a unity of mm-hmm. purpose there. Yeah. We're going to steal, you know. You can be unified for a bad purpose. Yeah. The thing is, like you should be unified for what? You know, towards a common goal, which is good, yeah. the common good, yeah. you know? Yeah. Because even the thieves, the thieves are, are unified. They say, I'll go yeah. through the window, you open the door, yeah. but they're not there for a good purpose. Well, well, so I think purpose, that, for selfish purpose, yeah. Yes, yes. And I, you know, but one of the things that we forgot to, a, 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 a leader must have a sense of history. Yeah, that is yeah, absolutely yeah. essential. Mm. And well, we I guess we didn't mention it specifically, but it is part of the protocols of reflection. Yes, it is part of the protocols of reflection because when you are when you are thinking through a particular problem, when you are thinking about ways in which you can approach the thing, you've got to also bring in the history. Yes, See? so yes. it's the background. So all these things are very much important. I, I'm, 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 I'm with you when you say that we didn't specifically mention the sense of history. Yes, you have to have the sense of history. Yes, you know, you, you, you ha- In fact, um, there's an article I read about development and history, and these development practitioners kept going to these towns in yeah. in Southeast Asia. Yeah. But the development projects were not working. Yes. Until somebody told them, say, no, 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 no. You see the way you come in, this thing, no, this is against our 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 society, this one yeah. we can't do. So they realized that they didn't look at the context yes. in which they were operating. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. You so, so in Liberia, mm-hmm. we are made up of a lot of different, different groups, right? How did we come to be so uh, diverse mm-hmm. yeah. and divisive? Let me put it that way. You know, the, the leader has to know. That okay, this is what I bring in, and this is, and I I don't mean somebody who has lived there so long. You can I tell people I said you know you could you could sometimes it's, it takes a stranger to look at your house and say oh your house is falling apart, yeah. but that stranger must also know how to put that house back together. Yeah, you know so 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 with history 
we 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 say okay um um i mean what what we, we talk about why the university of liberia is built where it is yeah right it was going to be built i think in, in carisburg or something oh, yeah, yeah. and there was yeah, argument yeah. and the president stephen allen benson he mm -hmm. was not speaking to edwin barclay mm -hmm. i mean not edwin barclay blighting and yeah. they were having arguments. So all of these things, you know, you 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 know history, and you said, okay, yes, well, yes, yes what I'm going to do, yes, my roadmap yeah. to bring this country together to heal this country, yeah. you know, and and if we can heal, as the South African said during the Truth Commission, what can you live with? Yeah, you know, what is it that you can live with? You what know? is the common ground? What is, what the, is the common, common ground? ground? Wow, yeah. yeah. What is the common ground? You know, that I think those the, are the things that... The, life is full of so many intersectionalities. Yes. So you've got to understand them to know that there are certain of those intersectionalities that have to exist for life to go on. Those, the whole thing of, of, of uh, understanding the paths that cross and the paths that are not meant to cross and all these things. Once you understand them, then you you can so ably live in uh, the life that so-called freedom offers you. But if you say that freedom has to be absolute so that there will not be anything dissecting, then there is a problem right from the get-go believing that freedom is absolute and not a checkered type of thing or phenomenon. Yeah, and, and, a, and a leader also must not be afraid to, to, make, to take strong decisions, you know? A leader should not be afraid to do that, yeah, you know? Strong decisions, again, yes. we need to emphasize strong decisions as they relate to the common good. Yes, as it relates to the common, the good, common yeah. good. Yes. As it relates to the common good. And you know, another thing is the common good should be defined by the by, by the people. Yes. You know, yeah. Now, the, because the, of the, terms. President will say, the president will say, Oh, I'm doing this for your for your common good. No, yes. it should be defined by the people mm -hmm. as principles within the preamble or yes. the constitution. This is yes. our common good. Yeah. You know, I have a friend who when he went to East Timor, he said the East Timorese got together. And they put together a document. Yeah. Now they were not waiting for the United Nations. When the United mm -hmm. Nations got there, they said, "Here is how we want our country to be." Yeah. Now it is your job to help us reach there. Yeah. They already had their roadmap. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and, and the ANC makes, charter. They, 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 yeah, the ANC charter. They took part of that charter to put in the South African Constitution. The yeah. people knew what they were fighting for. Yeah. You know, so 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 Liberia's civil war was not a war of ideology. It was just a war of, of power, yeah. you know, of power and to share the, the, the spoils of war. They were not fighting for an ideology, you know, like a, like apartheid, you know, yeah. the, the apartheid, or they were not fighting for or an independence war, like in East, East Timor or somewhere, yeah. you know? So all of those things have to be taken into context when you're bringing the country together. Yeah. What made this war last so long? What made this war turn brother in, against brother mm. or sister against sister? How do we heal these people? I still feel that we need to have shrines, you know, do, do, uh, uh, memorials, like, like, like we have Declaration Day. We should have a day to commemorate the mm. dead in a war and to say never again, you know? I mean, so, uh, Rwanda has, has the Genocide Museum. We need something. We need something to remind us mm -hmm. of the horrors, you know? And I, I think a president should think about all of those things, not a president, but a leader, should think about all of those things when mm -hmm. they are crafting their, their national plan, because there must be a national plan to take yeah. the country forward. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think so. I think that we as a people, we have to leave self selfishness aside and yeah. say, mm -hmm. what is good for the country? Not what will I gain if this person becomes president? But what will the nation gain if this person becomes president? Yeah. You know, I, I listen to a lot of um, talk show and they're just so petty. They gossip, the tabloid, you know, mm -hmm. oh, this person did this, this, this. There's no unified strategy, mm -hmm. you know? Oh, this president, yes, the roadmap. Let's dissect this roadmap to see how we, how we as a people are gonna reach there. You know, I mean, election is October. 
and they are still talking about oh you know the man he didn't do this he didn't do that you know and when will you get to get when will you start looking at strategies for us mm. to be able to say oh okay i identify with this strategy for my country so i'm going to vote for this person mm -hmm. i think Nigeria has a long way to go and i i think that we need a visionary leader yeah. to take us there yeah What say you? I'll vote for you, prop, if you run. No, I think uh, you know one of the things I always say is that uh, even though doing good is a very difficult thing for humanity, I prefer being a parishioner than to be the priest. So, in the context of what we are saying, I don't have to be president of a nation to. Uh, bring together like minds that we can create a cadre of people who are smart and honest enough to help move our country somewhere. If I had resources, I would put you into that group of people who are supposed to work in our own corner to see how best we advance Liberia in the context of education, in the context of economics and things of that nature. Yeah, I, I you know, I, 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 I would say I agree with you, but I think that uh, Robert Rothberg wrote a book on transformative leadership. Mm. And I think that, you know, the, pres the president or the leader really sets the tone for the country. Well, I agree. It's, sometimes it is very difficult to effect change if you are not the leader, mm. you know? Yeah. I, I will even counter because actually everyone is a leader. We have to understand that when you have that beginning that in every individual there is leadership and pulling together the uh, vignettes or the silos of leadership, we can do something very great in the country. If we look, yes, within the, the African sense, it tends to support what Robert is saying, but we must be able to tap in our potential leadership to be able to advance a course in our individual countries. I agree, everybody's a leader in some shape or form, mm -hmm. but, but sometimes it takes like a leader in a very high position to be able to effect change. So come, let's come <laughs> back to my trip, right? My daughter surprised me, we went to, we went to Bermuda, this past week for my pre-birthday, right? <laughs> Prof, I've never seen a country so clean. Uh, Every street you turn, there's a bathroom. Which country is that? Bermuda. Okay. Clean bathroom. I mean, every place you turn, there was a there was a public bathroom. Okay. They had lit, uh, 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 garbage cans all on the streets. I asked, okay. they said that the government collects the garbage and then they put it in an incinerator, okay. right? I came back from that place <laughs> thinking, you know, the job I want is to be mayor of Liberia. Yeah. I mean, of course, I mean, I'm not going to be mayor. But, but Prof, when you get to see a, a place that is well run, mm. that, is, that, 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 that is managed well, mm. and you start to envision and have that vision of what a country can be. Yeah. Granted, it's a small island, I know that. But it is totally amazing. Mm to see a country where when you talk to the people, they are so happy about their little country. They tell you the history about their country. They are so welcoming, you know, they are so grateful, you know, that the country is so clean, you know, and, and, and I'm thinking, what would it take for us to, because you know, if you want to use the bathroom and there's no bathroom and you go behind somebody's house, mm. you know, what does it take? Because don't forget, you're polluting the environment as well. Mm. So my thing is, if we as Liberian think we deserve better, mm. you know, we will vote better, you know, mm. because some people don't think that they deserve better because you do deserve better, you know. And, you and, have to create a culture of leaders. That's yes, what it you is. Know, you know, you, you know a culture to. of leaders, but a culture, as you say, of reflex, reflective yeah. thinkers yeah. also, you know. So if anybody's uh, listening, please vote for me. I want to be mayor of, of Monrovia. <laughs> If, uh, yeah. You raise the people's hope and it's that 
uh, uh, campaigning for you. Don't run away when you go there. <laughs> no problem. I mean, I mean, of course, you know. I mean, there's so many things that can be done in the country. You know, yeah, yeah. I mean, like in K in Johannesburg, right? The city of trees. Mm. They, you know, we have putting cement everywhere. These people are building. I mean, are growing trees yeah. for shade. You yeah. know, in like when you get it, be like, oh, the sun hat. Mm. Yeah, the sun hat. Because you guys put in so much cement yeah. and the heat comes up from the cement, mm -hmm. you know? What is it to say, okay, you know what? We're just going to plant trees. Yeah. The trees hold up the soil. Yeah. So there's not much of erosion as well. And it's, it trees. has to do with oxygen and, yes. uh, and you know? all those things. Uh, you know, there is a change of uh, trees taking, uh, taking, uh, giving out a carbon dioxide and we giving out oxygen and the mixture at some point in time grows the health of the people you know yeah so 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 please i mean i mean it's just an aside but the next time i go home maybe i will try and look and look for the mayor and tell him i want to take his job <laughs> you know and maybe <laughs> <laughs> you got a lot of right yeah yeah but 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 i guess audience if we can ask you to just type one 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 word about what you think a leader should have that yeah. would be great that would be interactive before yeah. we close yeah if you can just let us know what you think is the is the is the first quality in a leader that you're looking for just one word just one word you know it wouldn't take long i mean there are not a lot of people listening today but if That's you just type you in what do you think if somebody asks you what is it, Emmanuel? What is it you're looking for in a leader? Edison, what is it you're looking for in a leader? Just what would be word. the first thing that comes that, that will come to your mind? You know, just just uh type it for us if you're there and, and just let us know. Yeah, but Prof, I'm telling you, it's it's it, it was it was an experience to go mm. to another country, especially the one that you don't need visa mm. <laughs> and you can just go and and, and come and and uh, um yeah, of course um they import a lot of stuff, so food was expensive. Or is expensive, but it was it was a nice place. So our people don't have any any comments on leadership. I guess they don't they don't feel like they, they can comment. Well, but probably probably uh, uh, what they offered exhausted, or what we said about the characteristics exhausted the list. So maybe they will have some time to reflect a little more and talk about about. Uh, but yeah, yeah, but but yeah, but um uh um. I, I hope I hope that our discussion has um, helped some people who can decide on who to vote for. I would say the, 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 the thing is, what does Liberia, uh, who does Liberia need? What does Liberia need? You know, you know and then go from there. Uh, this month has been, this month has been an important month as far as civil rights and uh, people's rights are concerned. And one of the when when uh, when when uh, Dr. King went to Memphis, Tennessee, uh, you know the the man the workers carry. I am a man. I think it is about time that we did a poster that read, "I am a leader." I am a leader. And that is supposed to be a rallying call so that if I am at the garbage bin, I know that I'm a leader, I must do something to clear the garbage from the place it is. If I see myself as a leader, I will not engage in reckless talk. I should be able to set, set the pace for other people. So it is about time that we carry the mantra I am a leader, and then don't leave the sense of leadership to any other person but myself. That's why I've said in one of my, my writings that you don't need a role model. You must see yourself as a role model. And if we have a multiplicity of role models, I think something magic, something significant will unfold before us. That's what I see as far as you know my closing comment may be. Yeah, I, I I agree with you, Prof. I think that Liberia is at this critical juncture that we really do need to join join. I mean, I mean, yeah, there there are there are rays of light, you know, between the cracks, but we need to really move forward in, to make 
gigantic leaps yeah. forward. You know, and I think that it can only come with a visionary leader mm -hmm. who is able to show us the vision that we will happily join him or her in getting there. Yeah. So so we want to, to thank you all for you. Um, joining us today. We know it's very nice outside. So most of you are enjoying the good weather because, I mean, it's 84 here. And they said, oh, yeah, but the next week is going to be 41. I'm like, oh, God. Uh -huh. You know, so we want to thank you all for joining us. Yeah. Bob and I, we are here every Friday at six o'clock. We know yeah. it's kind of an awkward time. It's, it's Friday evening, but we are here. Um, and we ask you to join us uh, next week. Please um, uh, feel free to get involved in the conversation. If you don't, if you disagree with us, let us know. You know, don't you don't have to be um, always agreeing, but in a civil manner, you can definitely. Uh, uh, um, oppose some of the things that we say and, 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 and let us know how you feel. So we thank you once again. We say yeah. be safe. You know, um, uh, enjoy the weekend. Be safe. And 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 please, uh, the, uh, uh, the person who's reading that wrote to Romeo, read your <laughs> road to Romeo. <laughs> They're going to read their road to Romeo. And, mm. and um, we are all going to um, uh, 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 Pray for each other, pray for our yes. country. And as we always say, you know, um, we're all Liberians. Whether we, I mean, we disagree, we argue, but one thing is clear, we're all Liberians. That's the that's the, the, the roadmap, I guess. That's the beginning of the roadmap that we're all Liberians and we, we want the best for the country. So thank you and yes. we we'll see you next week. And Prof, yes. thank you. Okay. Yes. okay. We all are the Yeah.